Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate an end to end integration scenario with Salesforce. In this scenario, I'm going to use the Salesforce activities released in 2019.7, as well as the UiPath connector for Salesforce, which is a Salesforce Lightning application that is going to be released in the next few months. I will also be using the SAP BAPI activities to create a sales order in SAP. In this scenario, a business user updates an opportunity stage to close to one status, which triggers a process in Salesforce uh, that in turn creates a job in the orchestrator. A robot picks up this job and processes it. In this process, the robot will use the Salesforce activities to retrieve the opportunity line items as well as additional details from Salesforce. It will use the invoke SAP BAPI activities to create a sales order in SAP. And then finally, it will use the update record activity to update the opportunity in Salesforce with a newly created order number. So let's just look at how this is set up. Here I'm in, in my Salesforce application um, in the UiPath connector for Salesforce. As you can see, I have a connection set up to my orchestrator with the authentication information. In this connection, I also have a couple of templates that have been created. I have a template called Opportunity Closed One, which is set up to create a job in Orchestrator when an opportunity reaches the closed one status. When this job is created, certain additional fields from the opportunity, such as the opportunity ID, will be passed on to the job. We have also set up a process using Salesforce Process Builder to trigger this particular template. As you can see here, when the opportunity reaches the closed one status, the create UiPath orchestrator job step will be executed. In this step, in addition to the connection template to use, which is the one we saw earlier, there are additional parameters that also can, pass, can be passed in. This includes the account ID, for example. On the UiPath side, I have the process set up to establish a connection to Salesforce using the Salesforce application scope. Once this connection is established, I have a get record activity that is going to retrieve the line items for the opportunity, as well as some account information. Then I have a execute SOQL activity, which is going to execute a Salesforce object query language query to retrieve additional product information. Finally, I also have a create SAP sales order activity, which includes the BAPI activities from the SAP BAPI activity pack. Last but not least, I'm going to update the Salesforce opportunity with the order number that was just created. So now let's look at this demo. Let me first make sure my robot is connected and available. Uh, so I'm now going to um, go to Salesforce and I have an opportunity created here, which is in a negotiation review status. As you can see, this opportunity has two products, um, one for quantity two and another one for a quantity of four. On the opportunity details, there is an order number which is currently empty. I'm now going to update this opportunity and set the stage of this opportunity to closed one. On doing so, you'll see that an orchestrator notification just got created. In this notification, all the details that were specified in the template have been initialized. You can see the ID of the opportunity as well as the account ID that was passed in. In orchestrator, I just had this job that was created and which was picked up by the robot on my machine. The job was executed and uh, this message box tells me the order number that was created in SAP. Now that this job has executed, I'm going to go back to my opportunity in Salesforce and pull up the details to look at the order number. So as you can see, the order number also got updated. I also have a helpful little link here to go and check the SAP order using the SAP Fiori app for sales orders. In this app, you'll see that the line items have been created as well as uh, there will be information uh, that pertains to the specific opportunity.
the sold to party is the account set up in SAP, as well as you can see here, the customer reference is set to the opportunity name and the two line items have been created. So that's the demo for the Salesforce activity pack released in 2019.7, as well as the UiPath connector for Salesforce Lightning app that is going to be released in the next two months. Thank you.